Ladies and gentlemen, today's video we're going to be reviewing the Bob and Brad T2 massage gun. If you've had your eye on this, you're in luck. Also, my next video is going to be for their Q2 mini massage gun, which is smaller. This is a medium range one, and then we're going to go with a mini one. This is really nice for your gym bag or travel. So make sure you're subscribed for that video. Now before we go any further, I'm jumping forward, but I wanna let you know that your guys' links for this exact same massage gun are in the description box, top line in the description box below. If they sell it in the UK, I will have you guys in the UK linked, if not one very similar to it. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get this on out. The battery is a 7.3 volt, 4,000 milliamp battery. The charging time is 270 minutes. The rated power is 25 watts. The speed is 2,000 through 3,200 RPM per minute. Five adjustable speed levels and five massage heads. It's quiet and powerful with a USB type C charging input. So what's nice about Bob and Brad is they actually have really nice products. This is gonna be the second massage gun I've reviewed by them and then reviewing currently the mini one we've already discussed. Like I said, what it is nice is they give you this nice little nylon case with a handle. They do that for each of their massage guns. It's actually a really nice case. I've reviewed a lot of massage guns and the Bob and Brad is a very high quality massage gun. And if you are wondering some of these hypervolts and all this other nonsense, they all do the same thing. Just some of the building materials or the batteries inside of the massage guns will differ from your cheap ones to your more expensive ones. But again, like I mentioned, this is more of a medium size. I've reviewed massage guns much larger than this. And again, like I already said, the quality build is very impressive for Bob and Brad. This is a silicone anti-slip handle here. You have right here on the top, this is all high quality plastic and then kind of shiny, really high end plastic down here, here, etc. Your on and off button is right here. You have ventilation for the massage gun here. This of course is where you input your mas massage gun heads and a little more venting on the top there as we can see. Again, USB type C charging input here. And of course you do get in the case, a USB charging cable. It does not give you the wall outlet, but it's recommending a five volt two amp. I know most of us have the wall outlets, but it would be nice if they would provide that. Here's a little extra, I believe an O-ring there, your user manual. And let's go ahead and talk about these massage heads here. Like I've mentioned, I've reviewed a lot of massage guns. So these are all typically the same. This one is gonna be like a tennis ball, kind of felt, has a little bit of give to it. That's one of my favorite. Then you have one like this. This is hard plastic, flat on that side there. This one is absolutely amazing for piercing through your shoulders, especially after boxing classes. That gets straight into the shoulders between the muscles. That's a great one as well. Then you have the U-shape. This is great for your spine or whatnot. You might have to have somebody help you out with that one. I don't use those ones typically too much. And then probably one of my favorites or second favorite, I call it the plunger. This is very large and it has a give to it here, as we can see. This used to be my favorite, but I think this one is now my favorite for large muscle areas. And then this is gonna be probably tied for second for deep tissue. I like this one right here. Okay, inserting is super simple. Pop it in like that. You do need to charge this fully before you do give it a run for its money. So make sure you do that, charge that battery full up, but we'll go ahead and show you a little testing here before we do charge it. So you go ahead and hold it and that will turn on and we're in mode one right now. You have your LED indicator lights right on top right here. And that goes up to five speeds. This again is the first speed. As you can see it right there. Then we have speed two, speed three, four, and five there. And that again goes up to 3,200 RPMs per minute with the first one and one more click off. And the first one, here's your battery indicator light down here as well. There are four LED indicator lights. I'm on two right now, so I'm at 50% battery life. So again, make sure that you do fully charge it. Here again is 2000 RPM, that's the first speed. Let's see if we can go up. So here we are in speed three. Let's see if we just hold it down if it'll turn off. One, 1000, two, 1000. Okay, so you don't have to click all the way through them to turn it off. You go ahead and hold it down for two seconds, it will turn off. Looking at the instruction manual, here are your LED lights, just like we talked about, 50%, 25% for one battery life, 75, 100. Also, it has a safety feature that after 10 minutes, 
it will actually turn off. Now I know some of you guys want to massage longer than 10 minutes. What that does, just in case if you do travel with this for some oddball reason, the button gets pushed in while you're traveling, it would only be on for 10 minutes max and then turn off. Inside the case, I highly doubt that that button would get pushed even on an airplane in your baggage, etc. Now this is not the provided cable, but I'm just showing you. This is my cell phone cable and adapter, so I'm just showing you for simplicity's sake. Here we have the LED lights, again starting at 50%. 75 100 and then that one once it gets up to 75 percent will stay solid and work its way until it's entirely 100 percent charged again usb type c right in the bottom there all right let's give you some examples of the massage gun and why i use it and how i use it so again this is a great size if you're looking for something a little bit more beefier but smaller than these really heavy hyper volts super long handle, super heavy motor. To be honest with you, the Hypervolt or something like that, something a little bit beefier, might have a little extra juice. But to be honest with you, I never used it. I had a Hypervolt, I sold it. Not knocking Hypervolt, I'm just saying that something that goes 3200 RPMs per minute is probably gonna be just fine for you. I typically never go over like level three or four anyway. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We are on speed one right now. And let me go ahead and just show you just speed one. And I'll go ahead and talk through a little bit about why I use it, especially after the gym, your arms are all jacked up. I'm actually gonna go for a mountain bike ride in a couple hours, and this definitely helps as well. Now also, my right arm has been falling asleep on me during sleep. Not so much anymore with this new memory foam mattress. I switched up mattresses. That definitely helps, but I think I'm just too tight in my arm. So I wanna loosen that up. I like to watch a Netflix show before bed, kind of like a little wind down after a complete day after the workout in. When I used to regularly go to boxing classes four nights a week plus, this is, and this is the plunger one if you didn't know right here. This one, again, I'm just on speed one talking through you can literally watch tv let me get up nice and close and i'll be quiet for a minute so you can see it pulsating but you can also very quiet and i really like this because i can get around my shoulders the flats of my shoulders let's take a look at my tricep there Brrr. getting your triceps there also working the back here you can do your neck like this here i recommend if you're going to hit your back of your neck don't go too high in speed i'm speed one and i'm uh... <laughs> so be careful about that you can do your pecs of course biceps and then of course like i said forgive my white pasty legs it is still technically april so after mountain bike rides after kickboxing classes, your quads, your hammies are burning, your calves. Again, I like the plunger. It has a little bit of a give to it. Get your calves after mountain biking. Again, we're going on a solid probably hour and a half ride in a couple hours from now. So while I'm watching my show tonight, relaxing, I'll go ahead and do a couple cycles with the massage gun looking really, really good. So again, legs, upper body. Okay, and next let me show you how easy it is to pull that off. We'll drop that. So the bullet is really awesome. Again, we're just gonna kick it on level one for simplicity's sake. But let me go ahead and show you here, penetrating through the muscle with that bullet. And so you can get nice, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it got like right on the muscle fiber and just started twitching it. Let's look at that, look at that, look at that. That's pretty cool. So again, the bullet goes right in between the muscles where the plunger one can't really pierce through. So if you have really tight arms, then this just pierces right through. Check that out. Ah, looking really, really good. Massage guns are really awesome. Definitely if you're gonna be using them. Some people, they start using them. Keep it up, relax muscles, and I'm preaching to the choir right now. I need to use my massage gun more. Watching TV shows is probably the easiest, best way to do it. Have it right there next to your television by your couch. 
you're gonna use it more often. I don't know too many people that are like, hey, let me sit around doing nothing for 10 minutes massaging. So sometimes you need to do an activity and then do it like flossing. We all need to do it, sometimes we don't do it. Guys, again, just like all my videos in the description box right below the video is gonna be the link for this same massage gun. Read more about it, pick one up yourself. Also stay tuned for the Q2 Mini. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. This gets a thumbs up in my book. Bob and Brad do make high quality massage guns. Also, if you're looking into shirts like this, this is probably one of my favorite shirts. This is the Basic Tee by Into the AM. I'll link them down below as well. It's really super contour to your muscles. It drapes over, looks good. If you have a dad bod, kind of hides the dad belly a little bit. Hopefully give you motivation to work that dad belly off. Again, your links are below. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Chris. If you wouldn't mind hitting a thumbs up button on the way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like videos like this about tech reviews, also DIY projects. We're doing a full house remodel. Check out the channel for this custom LED light slat wall, accent wall, Ikea hacks the whole nine yards. Thank you guys, we'll see you on the next one. Take care for now, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.